With the beat of the drum, this tale of the salmon begins. It's a story about the salmon and the people who have survived and made their living off of, uh, off of that resource. Set in the late 1800s, Salmon Row chronicles the lives of canners, fishermen and their families who thrived on this iconic fish. They all lived and worked here in Steveston, white, native, Japanese and Chinese immigrants. The resource is, um, is the key to everything and uh, is the key to the relationships and, and, and the relationships that, uh, that, are, that are built and are also broken and how, how things are resolved through, through conflict or not resolved and how some things are never resolved regardless of, of what, uh, what passes. From the exploitation of laborers I told you I can't right now. to the Chinese head tax. Salmon. Salmon Row takes a hard look at BC's turbulent history, but it also celebrates the origins of its multicultural fabric. I learned a lot about uh, the cannery workers that work here and about the life, the incredible multi-ethnic existence that has built Steveston and therefore BC. Performed in front of the Britannia shipyard, Salmon Row transforms this historic site into a theatrical realm of costumes, light and sound. We're trying to bring the site to life. It's a heritage site, so we're trying, it's as if, as if ghosts have come to life. The play itself is going to take place at several locations around this huge historical site. And so the audience will be moving with us. There's big projections that are going to happen on the buildings, people on stilts. It's music, original music that was written for the show. It's, it's, it's an extravagant sort of huge experience. The hope is that the play will resonate in the eyes, ears and hearts of those who attend, showing them that salmon will never be simply food, because in B.C., it's life. It's really quite satisfying to, to bring that aspect of the history of British Columbia and therefore Canada to the knowledge of uh, more people. I'm Tim Chung in Richmond for The Express.